let, and let's say, you know what? I don't really know what I want in my life. Okay, cool. I understand. But let's identify what you don't want. Sometimes it's easier that way. I don't know, Zarajiska, what is the goal of my life? Okay, I, I don't know what my mission is. All right, I understand. I went through that. We all go through that phase in our lives that we don't know what is our mission in this life. But what is not your mission? What is it you don't want? You can do that. So eliminate what it's not. And then you narrow it down to what you, you may, it gives you a chance to find out what you want by eliminating what you don't want. That makes it easier. Same thing here. Okay, I don't really understand what you mean by this still point inside me, Zaratustra. I, I can't understand it. What do you mean by stillness? Okay, cool. I understand. Let's see what is not stillness. What's not stillness is anything that moves, anything that comes and goes. Anything that comes and knows, goes, is not stillness. Stillness is that which doesn't come and doesn't go. It's always here. And that is in you. It's within yourself. And once you discover it within yourself, then you begin to identify to it because you realize identifying to this part of yourself doesn't have ups and downs and the freedom begin to come into your life. The more you identify to the stillness within yourself, the freer you become, the more space opens up in your life something expands in your life something opens in your life space opens up so you may say well how does that happen How does that, by identifying, by connecting to one place inside myself, which is stillness, how does space open? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. What do you mean, Zaratustra? Right? Is that cool so far? Are we on the same page together? I want to make sure we're here. Good. All right, for that, I have to explain a little bit of something else, and then I'm going to come to this. So you understand it better. For those of you, some of you maybe are here for the first time with me. And uh, so, when you when you're a kid, you're five, six, seven, eight, nine years old, before you get conditioned heavily, okay, a lot of times you're hanging out by yourself, you're playing by yourself, you're in your room playing with your toys, you're playing your imaginary with your friends, uh, you're riding your bicycle, you're playing football, whatever, you're just playing, you're hanging out. There is a sense that you have inside you 
that you are, you have a sense of I am. And you don't know anything about spirituality. No one has taught you about these kind of things. And rightfully, you don't need to know anything about sir because you're a kid. So, but you have a sense that you are. You know that you are. Nobody needs to come and tap on your shoulder, reminds you every 10 minutes that, hey, Johnny, you are, you exist. Hey, Susie, you exist. You know you exist, you know you are. You don't even think about it. There's no thoughts about it. You simply know that you are. There is a sense of being. And you start growing up, you start getting older. As you get older, that sense of being always remains. So what happens normally around age 12, 13 to boys and girls, we go through a process called puberty. So our body starts to go through a change. The girl starts growing boobs and their hips, and then you go through your meniscal process. And the, the, the guys start growing a little bit of facial hair or chest hair, and your body starts changing. And as your body starts changing, your agenda kind of changes too. You are, before, you, you're very happy playing with toys or doing certain things, da, 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 da. Now you are more interested in boys or you're more interested in girls. So your agenda is changing too because your physical body has changed, your hormones is changing and you're starting to, not, from a child you're becoming a young girl and from a boy you're becoming you're growing up, you're, you're, and slowly you're, you're turning, you're not a man, but it's changing. So, but you're 13 years old and you're going through this weird process, you know, your boobs are growing or you're getting hair on your face, it's kind of weird. You're kind of excited. Sometimes you don't know what's happening to your body. You know, it is an interesting process in life. A lot of us don't even remember it because it was so long ago. But you see it. If you have kids, you can observe it with your children that is happening with them. And things changing. And as this is happening, you still have a sense of being. You still know that you are. Your agenda changed and your body is changing, but your sense of being, sense that you exist, doesn't go away. You still have the sense of being. So now you're going to get a little bit older. You're getting around 16 or 18. You're starting to have a little bit of your own autonomy. You're allowed to go out at night and come home a bit later, depending, you know, your parents and everything. Or you're, you're allowed to drive a car. You're allowed to date. You can have a beer or a glass of wine, depending where you live. You're starting to be treated a little bit. Your, your society decides treat you differently and give, you know, holding you accountable and more responsible. And you're allowed to have more freedom of doing things, but you still have a sense of being. That sense that you are is still there. 